This is Hank, the angry dwarf. Well, f*** you. Why am I so angry? Well, goddamn business is it of yours. I think all of you people who listen to our stage and go take a flying and f*** your people mean nothing to me. You are crap. If only I could reach you from the top of the Howard Stern building. You listening to the Howard Stern show, uh, uh, climb to the top of the building and jump off. And hopefully all the audience will die. Howard. Nice. DC 101, heart, even it up, even it up, even it up. 26 past 8 o'clock. All the morbid events of yesterday uh, we will have for you. Isn't that right, Robin? Hey, come on. You're always talking about morbid events. Hey, man, yesterday, yeah. yesterday was morbid. Hey. Morbid city. Hey, we just give the facts. Give them the facts. Well, the thing is, is that... Uh, if they're depressing, thing it's is not our fault. thing is, you're watching it on TV and you're going, I know I shouldn't be watching this because it's so terrible, but yet you can't stop watching. Just mesmerized in front of the television. And you're watching, and you're thinking it's like a TV show, but it's it's reality. It's very heavy. I don't want my wife going to Florida in this. She's supposed to go down there for the weekend, believe it or not. Cause I, I, got to, this. I have to fly to New York in uh, February, and I leave from National Airport. <laughs> 39 you can go for like 50 what is it 35 dollars no, no 59 bucks on this uh, new airline down to uh, sarasota where oh, my really? wife's parents live hmm. 59 dollars you can go to sarasota florida so that's what she was going to do but i don't know me i don't know whether i'm being superstitious or not let me give her a call i don't even know what she's doing she might be asleep because i don't even know if she's going into work today it is uh 27 past eight o'clock 827 dc 101 uh, the rock and roll radio station of the 90s. Actually, Robin couldn't get into work today. Her Hi, honey, can you speak to me a minute on the air? Uh, what, you can? What? Oh, no, wait, she's upset. What's the matter? Wait a second. What's, what's the matter? Am I on the radio? Yeah. What's wrong? Why are you upset? Nothing. I just, you know, I don't always like every day to have to be on the radio. No, I wanted to call you because I wanted to discuss the Florida thing. Oh, I don't think I'm going to go. Oh, good. All right. Oh, is the cleaning woman there? No. She's not? No. I don't even know if, I, if I'm going to go to work. I don't think you should go to work, because what, what I'm telling most of the people to do on the radio here is to stay home and just tell their bosses they can't get their cars started or something. Tell or the they're non-essential. Or they're non-essential people. I feel I'm non-essential. Right. So the thing is, is you should stay home. I would stay... How was the drive-in this morning? Drive-in was all right. Robin couldn't get in, though. Yeah. Because I don't of, hear her. Yeah, well, John is filling in. I'm Robin. <laughs> John's having identity crisis. The cleaning woman didn't show up? No, but she doesn't come, you know, for another few minutes anyway. You think she's going to come? I hope she comes. I don't think she'll come. You can afford a cleaning woman? Yeah, well, here's the deal. My wife works, right? Yeah. So she um, she works and I work, and the apartment's like well, a... What? So... The apartment's like a pigsty. So we... Listen, listen, I want you to come home tonight. No, I might stay at the hotel. In case you want me to come home tonight? Yeah. All right, I'll come home tonight. But the, let me tell you about the apartment. The apartment's like a pigsty, so we hired this, um, I guess she's Spanish. Right? She's Spanish? What? Is she Spanish? Yes. What's the matter with you? What are you doing? Nothing. I'm just waiting. I was putting the TV. I put the TV on. Don't watch the TV. Listen to the radio. <laughs> I'm on. You know, we're putting the TV on for. Just to see what it looked like. Yeah, to stare at pe people, people drowning. No. Over and over. How can you how can you eat breakfast and look at that? I know it's terrible. Turn it off, man. Don't that's morbid. It's terrible what happened. It's morbid. It's like oh. you know it's morbid. I'm sitting there watching trying to eat my dinner last night. Don't don't do that. Listen, huh? Don't stare at the pictures. I'll leave you a note or I'll call you when I decide what I'm gonna do. Are you, you might go to Florida or well, what? Oh, I'm because they're, they're expecting more snow t this afternoon, so I'm yeah, not. Yeah, I wouldn't go. Maybe you'll go some other time. And I hope the cleaning woman shows up. Well, I, we can't count on that. You see, she's not going to show up because of the snow, and the apartment's going to be a pigsty. I'll straighten it up. Thank you. Okay. Goodbye. Uh, well, how was the riding today, the driving? It was fine. It was fine. There was no problem. Me and Freddie came in together. It was no problem. Okay. The, really, the roads aren't that bad. People are complaining, man, but the roads aren't that bad. Connecticut. I may go I haven't heard any notice. 
Connecticut Avenue. And don't go into work either. That's a stupid job. They don't pay enough to, for you to go in in this disgusting weather. They don't pay you enough. Well, if, they wanna, if they want to double your salary, then you'll risk your life going in during this weather. Well, I'm going to play it by ear and give it a few more minutes and see if I get any phone calls. All right. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. She's not going to Florida. I didn't think so. 8.30, DC 101. You can get a cleaning woman for like 30 bucks for um, once every two weeks. And it's worth it, man. You know? It really is. You see, you're thinking that's a lot of money, man. But it's not. It's worth it's it. a lot of money. Especially if you don't clean your apartment like we do. We never clean it, so we at least got somebody to clean it for us. We are DC 101, 831. One-stop video for all your video needs. That's the place to go to. It's probably some jerk sitting at home videotaping all these uh, disgusting uh, pieces of footage of people dying for some mor morbid curiosity in the future. And uh, the fact of the matter is, video cassettes can be really great. Especially when you're looking at dirty movies like I do every afternoon. One Stop Video, one of the largest adult sections in PG <laughs> County. Really is. That's no laughing matter, Have man. Have you been there? Of course. They have... One of the largest selections that I've ever seen. As a matter of fact, I've, I'm trying to see every one of those selections, to tell you the truth. Also, they have How some, large is it? They're very large, and they have a fantastic video rental club deal. Uh, video rental club for 50 bucks, you get a year's membership, and you also get 10 free tapes. Also, if, you, uh, if you're really smart, you'll get an 18-month membership, 20 free tapes. And uh, if you want a lifetime membership, you mortgage your house... <laughs> and yet, no. You pay 250 bucks and you get um, 60 free tapes. Good deal. 7427 Annapolis Road in Hyattsville, Maryland. And 5848 Allentown Way in Camp Springs, Maryland. One-stop video. Open seven days a week. Check them out. They are nice people. And they'll treat you okay. Well, Big John, what are some of the... Um what are some of the developments here? That's I don't want to keep talking about this uh, airplane crash. Man, it's you boring. Know what, yeah, well, you know what happened. It's, it's a terrible tragedy. It is. It's a terrible tragedy, man. Who wants man. to hear about that? It's just bumming no. me out. I, I would prefer if we did Greatest Hits News. Yesterday had to be the worst day for news. The very worst day that ever was. So that's why we've decided to drag out some of the best good news of all time. So now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for... The Greatest News Hits of All Time on DC 101. All right. Way to go. Yeah. Hey, how about this golden oldie from 1945? What a great year, 1945. Great year. Hey, the war's over, everybody. World War II. World War II is over. It's over. That's good news. What a golden oldie from 19... 1945. 1945. Hey, here's one from 1969. Men landed on the moon today. Woo! That's one, right. One great step for... Wait, wait. One, one great, one small step for, for man mankind. Right. One great step for man. Wait, is that how? One I'm... great step for humankind. One great step for man. Something like something that. like that. But that's a golden oldie from 1969. Solid gold. Greatest hits news. Solid gold. How about this good news? 1974, Richard Nixon resigns! Yeah! I am not a crook. That's a golden oldie from 1974. How about this one? From 1981, just last year, the hostages are back! Woo! Yeah! Whoa, who is your favorite hostage? I like the small one with the beard. I like the guy who got out early because he was sick. That's right. Yeah. He was a good one. That yeah. was his name was uh, a Queen. Richard Queen. Thuy. That's his name. Yeah. Richard Queen. I remember when he got out early. Eight forty three DC one oh one, the rock and roll radio station of the nineties. Thank you. Eight forty three. And um, we are trying to keep you updated on this story as best we can. It's, um, it's really kind of simple when it comes right down to it with this uh, airplane thing. It's like uh, I, I, I didn't realize how dangerous it was flying out of National. 
I didn't even I didn't even realize that. Well, actually, it's the first fatal commercial crash since 1949. If they said on the news they were always afraid this was going to happen. Yeah, we, so that's I didn't an know that, man. I'm not, I'm flying out of Dulles from now on. That, that is pretty good, but I'm still flying out of Dulles. We're going to do a TV update for you next break. Also, we're going to give you the rest of the school closings as done to um, some rock and roll music. We might as well do them to music because they're so boring to listen to otherwise. And uh, we'll be we'll be we'll be. <clears throat> we'll be right back after this. Come on. I can't find the commercial. Number 817. I wanted to call on the floor. <laughs> oh, there we are. There it is. Here it is. Hey, Mike. Haven't seen you in a while. Well, Lori and I spent a few days skiing the Dependables. The de And bring your American Express card. Don't leave home without it. The Poconos, your friend in Pennsylvania. We're also going to be giving away uh, police tickets all day today. As a matter of fact, in just a few minutes, we're going to give away some more police tickets with the Go-Go's. And uh, we'll do that in about ten minutes, okay? okay. Does sound good? All right. <laughs> Billy Squire, DC 101. And Don't Say No. From Don't Say No, My Kind of Lover. The triple, what is it, triple platinum now, Fred, or something? Something like that. I don't understand it. So, uh, it's like triple platinum, that album already. We figured the school closings this morning are so boring that uh, Fred was going to play some electric acts here and we would sing the school closings for you. We'll run down that whole list in just a second. Also, we got all the information on the the horrible tragedy, the airplane disaster, the metro disaster. It was like the seven plagues yesterday, so we're going to run through all that for you as well. And we're also going to do a TV update because there's a couple of interesting things on television tonight that you might want to know about. All right, 854 DC 101. Um, we got the police tickets to give away. What do you say? Pick a number, you guys. Freddie, pick a number. Nine. Nine? Number nine. What kind of number is that? Number nine. Right, what, what, right on, you got six. Why'd you pick up nine? Why'd you, why'd you use nine, man? Because it comes before ten. That's it. <laughs> All right, let's take caller number nine now for the for the police tickets. Hi. How are you? Yeah, you're a loser. <laughs> Thanks. You're a loser. You're <laughs> caller number one. Number two. I lose. Guess what? You are lost. Number three. Guess what? What? You lost. Oh, caller number four. Guess what? You lost. Where is everybody? Hi. Yeah. How you doing? Guess what? What? You lost. Oh man. Sorry, you're number five. Guess what? What Howard? Guess what? What? You're a loser. Hi, number seven? Yeah. Guess what? What? G guess what? What? Just take a guess. Well, I lost. That's right. Number eight, hi. Hi. You're a loser on DC 101. How's that make you feel? Bad. Pretty bad, huh? Yeah. Feel pretty miserable. Yeah. It's too bad. Caller number nine, guess what? What? Guess what? What? You win. I do? You're a winner. Oh, thank you. Squeal like a pig. Huh? Squeal like a pig. Ah. You won. You won. We, they tell us to make a big deal when you win a contest. All right? All right. All right, can you scream or something or just say how happy you are? I'm very happy. Can you sound a little bit more happy? I'm very happy. Oh boy, I tell you, you guys are gonna, you guys are killing me here. All right, you hold on the line, all right? Okay. All right. Eight fifty six. Fred Nine eight one three two eight four. Out of town. Call collect. Sponsored by U.S. Air Force. All right, what song you want to do this to, Fred? Uh, how about how about get back or something? Get I'm back. A I'm a loser. I'm a loser. No, no. How about um, how about one of them Joe Walsh songs? Oh you, oh, you mean like Rocky Mountain Way or something like Rocky that? Rocky Mountain Way or uh, something good for school closings. School's Out, Alice Cooper. Do you play that? No, I don't. You don't play I that don't one. Play that, that, he, he wears makeup. Hmm. I don't think 
I want to do it to that one. I don't think I can sing to that particular song. How about my kind of love? No. How about, uh, how about, uh, well, you pick a song, Freddie, that would be appropriate. For school closing music. Uh, I, have, I have no idea. I, I, I shot my best shot with Get Back. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Well, she was. I can't. Uh oh, guess who just showed up? Robin's here. You guys seem to be having a good time. We're having a good time. Come on in here. We're going to do some school closings. You're just in time. Robin got in here. Isn't everything closed? How bad was it coming in? It's not bad at all. There's not much traffic. It's not a typical day for rush hour. Not a typical day for rush hour? Yeah, no. So it's pretty quiet out there? Pretty quiet. Most streets are pretty clear. Oh, kind of talking to Mike? Yeah. Most streets are pretty clear. Some of the side streets have, uh, you know, a little snow on them, even in the district. How'd you get your but, car uh, unfrozen? How'd you get in the... I had a nice neighbor. It's unusual. Came, that's true. Yeah. Who came along and took 20 or 30 minutes even with his help. But we finally jimmied open a door. Jimmy opened that door. Yeah. That's ghetto talk. <laughs> All right, listen, come on, let's do some school closings. Now Robin's here. Everybody can sing. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> uh, she said. What song is this? Smile. Uh, 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 All right now. Well, D.C. Public School, M.P.G. County School, Montgomery County, Fairfax County, too. I said Arlington, Alexandria, Falls Church, Prince William County, too. Well, it's all right now. They're all closed now. All closed now. Oh, well, they're all closed now. Yes, they're all closed now. Loudoun, Charles County, Stafford and Fauquier County, Manassas City, Manassas Park, Columbia Heights Children's Center in Kingsbury. Well, they're all closed now, baby. Yes, they're all closed now. All closed now, baby. Yes, they're all closed now. Yes, it is. Yes, it is closed. But there is two that are open. No, one that's open. Don't stop now, baby. I'm on a roll. Yeah, Adelphi Day Nursery is open. So all the little midgets can go to school. Even Northern Virginia Communist College is closed and PG Communist County College is closed. They're all closed now. Thank you. Hey, that wasn't bad. All closed now. It's kind of a, a neat new song. song. A new song. They're all closed now. And even if your school isn't closed, American University is now closed? It is closed. Oh, it yes. is closed. Okay. And uh, University of Maryland at College Park Campus is open. They're always open. They're always open? Never. Who's always open? They always live right across the street from the college, so <laughs> yeah. all they have to do They're is do them. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good, Fred. Fred's a good guitarist. Yes. And uh, what about the, uh, the, air the airline thing, man? That's sick. I tell you, man, it's Why a real shame. Talking about it, Howard? You don't think we should talk about it anymore? No. But the people are I all think talking that about you it. You should just inform the people that it happened and the latest details. But That's dwelling it. on it, dwelling on it is no good. You're right. I agree. Let's drop it. Then let's talk about the subway crash. No. Nah. No, let's not talk <laughs> about that either. It was a day to be forgotten. Yeah, Definitely. we're gonna forget about it. We'll play some music here at WWDC and WWDC FM Washington. Crank it up. Nine past nine o'clock and Fantasy Girl DC 101 Rock and Roll Radio of the 90s. We, um, we're in for some heavy weather here. It says that we still might get one to three inches of snow today. 
on top of what we already have. Robin says I shouldn't dwell on the airline crash, so I'm not going to. It's depressing the hell out of me, so I'm not going to talk about it anymore anyway. Uh, we got the Beaver break for you. Beaver continues to be held captive by a Polish hit squad. Coming up uh, in the near future, Beaver becomes a Mooney, disciple of Reverend Sun Myung Moon. So, um... We're going to have all that for you. And also, I promise you a TV update, and we're going to do that for you because there's some weird stuff on TV tonight we want to talk about. By a king size waterbed. It's a good one. That was a good one. Here we go. Here. Bad Co. I'm Dude and Doug. DC 101. Oh! 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 Yo! So go on and leave me. Leave me for another. Weather gone bad. That's it. Wow, 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 wow. Rock and roll. Hoochie Coo, DC 101. Robin Quivers is back. Good morning. And we even got John still here, which That's is good. Right. You know, we got like dueling news people. Pretty heavy. Pretty heavy. Uh, the, the biggest bummer of this whole snowstorm is my cleaning woman can't make it. Oh, how? I was just informed Howard, by my wife. Howard, Howard, I am really shocked at you. <laughs> I am really shocked at you. The government has closed down. <laughs> All non-essential personnel don't yeah. have to report. Every kid is out of school today. Yeah, they feel and bad. And you're griping because your cleaning lady, doesn't she have children? Don't I don't you know, man. Don't you be at home with her little bambino? 35 bucks, uh, you know, she gets, and she only stays there about two or three hours in my apartment, so she makes 35 bucks real well, quick. that place is not uh, a mansion, Howard. It's not that big. It's a small you really, apartment. If you really put your mind to it, you could clean it yourself. And, no way. And pocket the 35 bucks. No way. It's worth every penny, man. And seriously, even like a lot of people listening saying, hey, Stern has a cleaning woman. Isn't that awfully bourgeois of him? Yes, it is bourgeois. It's not. <laughs> because, cause like, anybody can do it. Even you earth dogs out there like me can do it for 35 bucks. I mean, you spend that money going Don't out to dinner. Don't you better things to spend your money on? No. This is worth <laughs> every penny of it, man. It has caused my marriage to be a lot more calm. That's true. That's because true. Because my wife helped. used to be upset. So now we get this clean, and she goes, Hello, Elise. I don't know what the hell she's saying, but she sure do clean nice. No, you know what your wife told me? What? That, you know, like, you're really messy. I and am. and you'd go around and you'd throw things around and and everything and you'd make the place a mess and then you'd come into the house and go why doesn't anybody ever clean this place up can't somebody pick something up around here doesn't anybody care what this place looks like and she says I felt like my name was anybody or somebody or nobody so it saved my marriage that's, <laughs> that's all true. I gotta say that's Latin true. American countries hey. are very clean that's right this little Latin American woman has saved my marriage it's worth every penny. <laughs> Give that woman a medal. But now she's not going to show up, and you know... But you it's, wouldn't want her to risk her life. I don't care, man. <laughs> she's got to show up. I don't Howard, care. Howard, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm really surprised. I used to think you were a huma humanitarian. No, man. Day. I want that little Spanish lady over my place today. What did they say about these people, you know, with the maids? They what? don't care about anybody but themselves. Well, there is something I do care about, Robin. What's that? Whether you know it or not. What? Um, One-stop video. Oh, you do? I know yes. you care about that. I care about that. <laughs> That's close to your heart. That's right. <laughs> they have two locations now. I, I don't know if you knew that. No, I didn't. You didn't know that. <laughs> Did anybody else know? Did you know that, John? You just told me. Yeah, they have two locations now. Uh -huh. uh, not to mention the largest adult section in PG County. Ooh. <laughs> adult section. That means they have adult films like yes. uh, Kramer versus Kramer. No, 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 not those kind of adult <laughs> films. It's large. We're talking uh, Johnny Wad Holmes. Oh, no. Um, uh, tapes of uh, Joey Heatherton and Lance Rensel together when they were married. <laughs> remember that? I remember that. Joey Heatherton was married to this guy, Lance Rensel, who went around exposing himself to four-year-olds. Yeah, he was great in an airport. <laughs> yeah, mm. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> More fun than a Hare Krishna. I'll tell you. Well, anyway, you get a fantastic video deal when you go to One Stop Video. Now, now you say, where is One Stop one Stop Video. Where, Where is, is One, one Stop, Stop video? video? They have two locations to serve you better. 7427 Annapolis Road in Hyattsville, Maryland. And 5848 Allentown Way in Camp Springs, 
Maryland. One Stop Video is now open seven days a week. No waiting, no extra charge. Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. till 10 p.m. Saturday, 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. And Sunday, 2 p.m. till 7 p.m. Just go over there, all right? <laughs> it's a real bargain. 26 past 9 o'clock. And say how weird sent you. And with that, just mentioning how weird, just mentioning Howard Stern's name at One Stop Video, you'll get everything at full price. Try it again. DC 101, 926, 26 minutes past 9 o'clock. And, uh... Are we, we're not going to talk about the airline thing? Well, we can talk about it, but not in the terms that you've been, you know, going on about how morbid it is. It happened, okay? It was an accident. It happened. Now we've got to find out why it happened, if it can be prevented, what we have to do about National Airport. Uh, the only thing that's, uh, if you can find something good about something as bad as this, is that you prevent it from happening again. And that's what you have to look to at times like this. You can't dwell on the fact that it was a miserable, morbid accident. Yeah, but people, and I think you'll say this is true, Robin, mm -hmm. people love to hear every disgusting detail. Well, it's the human drama. It's the human drama. Like, you I'm know, sorry, everybody everybody was glued to their TVs when that stewardess was being dragged out of the water, man, and uh, she was like half crazed. Do you want to know what I thought? What? I thought it was a terrible thing to see. But you I watched it. I didn't want, no. Oh, you turned it off? Yes. Hmm. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about the news Robinson. coverage of that. Not me and Last John. We night. watched every we I watched know, every I little know detail over and over again. You did. I know we you did. did. But I want to say something about the news coverage of that incident yesterday. Both well, there were two tragedies, and uh, I guess, um, but. It was not something that had an impact on everyone's life. You would have thought the world was coming to the to an end by the television coverage that was given last night. Uh, all three channels uh, going to full coverage. I think the best job was done by Channel 9. They didn't continually go back to the clips of uh, the rescue scene. They updated you as to what was happening. They didn't go to as many cuts of the man on the scene with nothing to say. Most of the information they were giving you on the TV came from the wire services so there was no need to have all those news people out Robin there Quivers blocking Robin Quivers the rescue effort giving uh, channel 9 the the uh, award channel, channel 5 Channel Seven five. comes in second. Wait I like Channel Five myself Wait running uh, Andy Griffith reruns. <laughs> <Wait a minute. laughs> Let me tell you, Channel Five would have gotten the award if Jackson Bain could talk, but that man didn't know what was going on, so they don't get the award. Channel Nine. Channel Nine. Channel Nine. Do you want to step up and take the award now? <laughs> uh, Accepting for Channel Nine, it's. Who is accepting for Channel 9? <laughs> I don't think they sent anybody to the Andy ceremony. Griffith! As long as we're talking about TV, let's talk about some of the stuff oh, on minute, tonight. Wait a minute, oh, Robin's not done. Tell you something else. Yeah? Great special on PBS last night. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Sharks. Oh, yeah? Man, it was great. Just learned all about sharks last night. They even had... Now, this is interesting, okay? Yeah. It's one thing to you know for people to wind up accidentally in a tragic situation and for people to exploit that situation. It's another thing for scientists to go and uh, study different things and to try out different things and to have them a film running at the same time. Well, it just so happens that one of the women who was studying these sharks has developed this steel suit so you can go down and, and meet with the shark without danger. Mm -hmm. Well, they were first trying out the suit. She goes down in it and the shark bit her on the hand Pull the steel glove off. She had to stick her other glove in mm. the, the shark's mouth. Now that's nice to watch. And then, and then he left her alone for a while, and then he came back and started attacking her head, and she was shaking her around like a little rag doll. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's, that's gripping. Fun. That's gripping. It's a good thing there weren't sharks in the Potomac. <laughs> that's true. The White Tribes but, uh, of Africa is on tonight. White Tribes of Africa. On which what? I'm, uh, I'm kind of happy about this. This is on mm -hmm. Channel 26 mm -hmm. uh, at 9 o'clock. This is great. Um, although it says White Tribes of Africa, these are actually about black tribes of Africa. And for some well, reason... why do they call them the white tribes? It's uh, evidently they have some kind of brotherhood called the white tribes. Oh, I see. But here's the deal, man. When you watch PBS and you watch like these shows that they do on Africans, mm -hmm. they, they're really into giving you great shots of naked women. Yes. And uh, I personally recommend you tune this in, man, because they always have these... You <laughs> oh, see, it's okay to show natives for some reason. Again, yes. It's okay to show natives for some reason naked. They don't know what they're doing. You can't show, you can't show regular people <laughs> naked on TV, but as soon as they're black natives of Africa, it's you can okay. tune in and check them all out for yourself. <laughs> uh, they show everything. 
Everything. Uh, yeah, but they sag so much. Oh, yeah, for on. some reason in Africa everybody sags. Well, they never wear bras or something. That's no. the reason. <laughs> so no, that's that on TV. True. Unfortunately, that is true. You're absolutely right. That is on TV tonight. Yes. Also, Barbara Walters, wimp of the airwaves, will mm -hmm. be talking with Jean Sadat. Jean? Oh, Jihan. Jihan yes. Sadat. The widow. And then they're going to be talking, doing a profile of Connie Francis. Oh, boy. We're going to have get to hear the gory details of her yeah. rape again. Mm. The boys are... Yeah, we're going to, you know, we're going to sit there and go, um, oh, it was horrible. He came into my hotel room and repeatedly raped me. Uh, I'm sick of that story. I mean, I feel bad for her and everything, yeah. man, but I don't want to hear about Connie Francis' rape case anymore. Of exploitation. Yeah, I mean, it's enough is that already. That's what the news is coming Trying to. to That's the story the tonight. No. Anyway, what is the weather for tonight, anyway? Who's got a forecast? I got the forecast. <laughs> 25 degrees. We're going to see periods of snow on and off today, maybe as much as three inches of accumulation, maybe only one inch of accumulation. We'll see. Uh, tonight it should all end, and tomorrow, partly cloudy with highs around 35 to 39 degrees, and uh, we shouldn't see any snow tomorrow, thank you. <laughs> Star me up. Rolling Stones, 939, 39 minutes past 9 o'clock, DC 101. And uh, tomorrow we're going to do Dial-A-Date. We'll do one of those tomorrow if somebody can get down here quick enough. We'll uh, we'll find the dial date tomorrow morning. We'll do that for you. Also, uh, Earth Dog Fred is going to talk about the dial -a date from last week. He went out. He chaperoned the dial -a That's great having Earth Dog Fred chaperone a dial -a date He chaperoned the date with the centerfold from Gallery Magazine. And we're going to get that guy on the phone and find out what he thought of it. And we're going to have Earth Dog Fred tell what happened over there tomorrow. 9.40, 20 minutes in front of 10 o'clock. We got some Earth Dog news for you next. Uh, oh, what do you want? Dear. I want to ask you why you're on the air. Why am I on the air? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> if I keep putting on that other dude, I'm going to be off the air real really? soon. <laughs> what, uh, what do you mean, why am I on the air? Why do they put you on the air? Why do they put... How old are you? Me? 11. You're a miserable child. Do you know that? <laughs> oh, I'm actually a prostitute. Oh, oh great. Dear. Oh, boy. 11 years old. Hello, Howard. Yeah. This is Carl Sagan. What astronomical events that have happened in the days past. You can say that again, Carl. Well, I haven't called, though, because I've been angry, because Leave It to Beaver has not been on the air on Channel 5. I was so angry, I broke one of my telescopes. Is that right? It's not on? It's on. Yes. It's on now. It's on? Yeah. Yeah. What? Surprise news, surprise, surprise. Huh. 9.54, another mediocre <laughs> impression of Carl Sagan right here at DC 101. Well, <laughs> I knew I shouldn't answer the phone. Something <laughs> told me today to lay off. Something weird in the air. Yeah, uh, well, tomorrow we're going to do a dial-a-date, and I'm psyched for that. And we're going to tell you what happened on the gallery dial of date. That I'm interested in. I know. <laughs> and uh, Earth Dog Fred will be relating that information yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> it's always interesting when Earth Dog Fred relays information. Start up your new year with the grand opening of the new Rockville Penguin Feather. Rockville. Anton Motors selection includes Volvos, Datsuns, Toyotas, and other economical gas-saving cars. See Anton Motors in Rockville for your next car. Just tell them the bees sent you. Oh, P.S. If we haven't mentioned something you particularly like, we can't talk about it on the air. Hmm. Whatever that is. 9.56, four minutes in front of 10 o'clock. Yes. I like Robin Quivers. You do? Sure. Oh, I'm so glad. I like you, too. Do you like the 14th Street Bridge? <laughs> Not particularly, no. How about Air Florida? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. That was their first accident, Howard. I guess. <laughs> Hopefully their last, because it was a bad one. But anyway, I was looking at the post just now in the style section. Yeah. You know that Johnny Carson has really arrived. He has a disease named after him now. Is that right? Yes. It's called Carcinogenesis Monocular Nyctalopia. No kidding. Yeah. What does I mean, that all mean? It happens that uh, some people who watch late night television, you know, they watch it in bed. 
and they usually lay on their back or their side, and one of their eyes winds up being buried in the pillow as your head sinks into the pillow. Right. So that eye is sort of closed and not uh, accustomed to the light. So when those people get up to walk to the television to turn it off, they notice that uh, they can't see out of the either, either their left or right eye, whichever the one that's been buried has, uh, you know, is now up and out and not accustomed to the light, and you can't see out of it. Wow. So it causes a momentary blindness in one eye. And uh, they name that after Johnny because he's the one that keeps most people up, I guess. A lot of people kid about, like, making love during the Johnny Carson show. Yeah. Have you ever done that? No. <laughs> I've tried, but you can't possibly get stimulated. A Robin, Robin's Johnny a virgin, Carson. so. But um, the thing is, is that you can't get stimulated while Carson is on TV. You're kidding. No, it's something about, like, you know, the guy's cracking jokes, man, and, you, and there's, you know, there's a laugh track behind you, and you're making love, you know? <laughs> Oh, my darling, yes, yes, you enjoy this. You know, then, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know. And then he hits a punchline, right? <laughs> yeah, right. And then, like, you're making love during Carson, and he's got, like, Suzanne Summers on there. Oh. And you're sitting there watching Suzanne Summers go, oh, Jesus, why can't I be with her? Oh, God, she's so gorgeous. You know, and you're sitting there with some floozy. <laughs> well, what about the fact that he might have some macho man on, and the That's woman right. you're with starts That's right. fantasizing about him? Yeah, right. You know, all Could of a sudden you're making wrong? love, and the girl's watching Burt Reynolds. And she's calling Burt. It's Bert. real embarrassing. <laughs> I guess you're right. I'll also, wonder. never make love with a Neil Young record on. <laughs> man, not? you'd want to go jump out a window. Talk about a turnoff. Oh. I was in high school. I was making love to a girl. Well, oh, my god. <laughs> if you want to call it that. Oh. And I had on Neil Young's Down by the River, man. Uh -huh. Boy, what a disaster. <laughs> that is a disaster. She started crying. <laughs> Down by the river. Down by the river. And she's going, oh, my God. I shot God. my baby, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a terrible song. Why did you ever choose that one? I don't know. Not very astute. I was weird. Mm -mm -mm. 959, yeah. Anyway, the recovery effort will continue out on the Potomac near the 14th Street Bridge today as rescue workers uh, try to bring up that Boeing 737 that went down there yesterday. They're going to also try to look for the flight recorder so they can figure out what was going on just at the time that plane hit the bridge. Six or five people have survived that crash so far. They'll be looking for more bodies today. The Algerian news agency says Mark Thatcher, son of Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, was found safe and sound today. He had been missing for six days. His uh, car apparently stalled or went off the course on an auto race, and he had been unseen for six days. Officials in California's Santa Cruz County fear there may be renewed mudslides because of rain forecast for the weekend, so they've evacuated 35 more homes in the ravaged Love Creek area. Officials fear the potential mudslide could be as big or bigger than the one last week. As many as seven victims of last week's storm remain entombed under tons of mud. Washington weather, a traveler's advisory in effect today. Occasional snow developing by late this morning. Continuing the rest of the day and ending tonight. The accumulation from 1 to 3 inches. The highs today, 27 to 31. Lows tonight, 17 to 23. Friday, pr partly cloudy with highs 35 to 39. Right now it's 24 degrees at 10 o'clock. I'm Robin Quivers on DC 101. <laughs>